Okay, so in this problem, we're given the mass and velocity of an object moving along the x-axis as a function of its position. Uh, and we're asked to calculate the total work done as the object moves from its initial position to its final position. Uh, in this problem, mass is me measured in kilograms, velocity in meters per second, and displacement in meters. So our velocity function is given here as the absolute value of 9x minus 2. The mass we're given is 9, initial position 1, final position 3, and we're asked to calculate the work. Now we could do a long uh, complicated work calculation, but work is really just the change in kinetic energy. Work is delta Ke, and as we know from this section, we have a formula for kinetic energy that is in terms of uh, velocity and mass, um, and that's one half mv squared. Now, since we're given um, the function for velocity and also the initial positions, we can actually calculate this uh, change in kinetic energy, and we don't have to do any derivations to figure out what the work done is. So we're just going to uh, redefine this top work equation in terms of mass and velocity. So we have work is 1 half mv1 squared minus 1 half mv0 squared. v1 and v0 will both be found using x0, x1 and x0. So we're just going to plug those into the uh, formula that we have for velocity of this particle, and uh, we're going to figure this out. Um, here we can plug in 9 for uh, the mass of the object. Now v1 squared. Now v1 is going to be our final um, velocity because we're looking for the velocity at the finishing position. Um, so the position here is going to be 3. And now we're going to find the uh, initial velocity. Now this problem is just a matter of simplification. Uh, we need to do a little multiplication, a little bit of squaring, and some subtraction to finish out the problem. Nine times three minus two is twenty-five. We can just ignore the absolute value uh, symbols since we have a uh, positive value here. Um, as you can tell in this problem, the absolute value isn't going to matter that much because the velocity does end up getting squared uh, in the end anyways. Nine times one minus two gives a final velocity of seven, which we need to square. So we square these here and we get nine halves times 625 and nine halves times 49. Now what we need to do is a quick simplification here. I'm just going to check my notes. So you get 5625 over 2 minus 441 over 2. And that simplifies to uh, 5184 over 2, which is really just 2592. The units of work are joules, so we finish with the work done by the particle being 2,592 joules.